As a superintendent of Orange and Consolidated Independent School District, I see achievement each and every day across this great district. At Orange and High School, we had three students place first, second, and third in masonry at the state championship for Skills USA. These outstanding students, Alejandro Torres, Raul Martinez, and Oscar Martinez, will graduate workforce ready with a passion for a high-skilled craft. We recognize our Superintendent Student Advisory Board members at Tuesday's board meeting. These students showcase the wonderful leadership that they possess at each of our secondary campuses, as well as provide this district with a student voice that is important. I have no doubt that these young men and women will blossom into a point of pride for this community, this state, and our great nation. We also had a group of co-op students at Harnigan High School South pass their National Retail Federation Customer Service Certification earlier this month. These nine students have worked throughout this year to develop their professional skills, which will truly pay off after graduation. It's important to recognize the achievements in this district because those success stories remind us that we are making a difference in this community. As we move forward, I know we will continue to make a difference in the lives of every student in this community, no matter what challenges come our way. At the April 12th regular meeting of the Board of Trustees, the Board approved the implementation of a voluntary exit incentive program for employees. This program will allow the district to save about $4.2 million in the upcoming school year as we continue to prepare for the state revenue shortfall. This program will be eligible to 70 professional and contractual staff and 30 hourly or at-will staff who submit the required paperwork on Saturday, April the 30th at the Central Administration Building between 8 a.m. and 12 noon. Eligible employees will receive the lesser of two options, either $7,000 or 20% of their current gross salary for enrolling in the Voluntary Exit Incentive Program. Resignation days for employees will begin at the end of the 2010-2011 school year. Incentive payments for qualified employees will be paid within 45 business days after the resignation effective date. The Voluntary Exit Incentive Program includes the following exclusions and limits. Substitute and or part-time employees are excluded from the program. Employees that are funded through discretionary grants are also excluded from the program. Employees hired on or after September the 1st of 2010 are excluded from the program. Any employee who has resigned in lieu of termination during the 2010-2011 school year is also excluded. The Voluntary Exit Incentive Program also includes the following participation limitations. No more than three eligible bus drivers. No more than four eligible computer technicians. No more than three eligible child nutrition employees. No more than four eligible high school math teachers and no more than four eligible high school science teachers. Members of the superintendent staff and I will be visiting campuses starting April the 19th to provide more clarity to this important resolution and to answer any questions you may have. You can also find information online at www.hcisd.org. In the coming months, this district's board and administration will continue to develop cost-saving strategies. However, we are moving forward with an emphasis on job preservation and with an emphasis on conserving resources directly correlated to classroom instruction. I want to encourage collaboration and creativity at every level of the district as we move into these uncertain times. Lawmakers currently project a revenue shortfall for public education between four and nine billion dollars, which would equate to a cut in funding for HCISD between five and ten percent. This would translate to a five and ten million dollar shortfall. I challenge the bus drivers custodians, accountants, teachers, and every other employee of this great district to rise to this challenge. Let us be defined now by our innovation and our commitment to servicing the needs of 18,249 students. Thank you for your time and your commitment to education in this community.